Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today I'm doing paid reviews and I'm answering some questions for my good friend Scotty and he asks, what classic watch brand has had the great biggest fall from grace? Yes, biggest fall from grace, fuckers. Very interesting question. And uh, I got to tell you, fuckers, I've got to tell you, this is excellent question for the enthusiast. And I got to explain a bit there. See, what's happened is some brands have fallen from grace. And let me give you an example. It's just like the automobile industry. In England, there's a brand called Vauxhall. Okay, it's basically, it's a General Motors, it's sort of the equivalent of Chevy, okay. However, when Vauxhall was, was in its infancy, we're talking 1900s, you know, 1910s, uh, 1920s, Vauxhalls were actually quite expensive. Vauxhalls were, some Vauxhall models were as good as Bentleys. That's right. These were very expensive motor cars. And over time, Vauxhall became just a mundane, everyday machine. And the same can be said of a brand called Alfa Romeo, because Enzo Ferrari, he used to race. That's right. Race. Before he started making motor cars, he was a driver for Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo was a basically a Ferrari of its time. And what's happened is Alfa Romeo decided it was it went for a more middle class market. So that top end they still sort of cater to it for some models, but Alfa Romeo is famous for unreliable affordable cars. Great style but not necessarily great lasting power. It's a bit like you Americans and Chrysler. Remember Chrysler? Chrysler in, it, in the early days was like an American Mercedes-Benz. Now they make fucking garbage. Absolute fucking garbage comes out of Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge. They're just shitters. Absolute shitters. Now, when we look at brands of wristwatch, there can be no comparison. The biggest fall from grace is Longines. See, Longines used to be a highly respected brand, way up there with Rolex, Omega, and other luxury Swiss makers. And uh, they had things like the Longines Lindbergh. These were early aviation. This was cutting edge shit. But, you know, Longines itself, what's happened is the brand has become prostituted. It now makes a lot of shitty quartz fashion fucking pieces. Yes, there are some high quality Longines. I had a Longines Heritage Conquest, that was a vintage reissue. That was a great watch in 18 carat. But long jeans of yesteryear is no more. And that that's probably and and when I say a fall from grace, well, on paper, long jeans never been stronger. It sells millions of pieces. Uh, they 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 really they're a hugely popular brand, very popular with the Australian middle class, upper middle class, typical real estate agents who drive their uh, C200 Mercedes, they will uh, adorn a long jeans. Uh, I had a friend of mine, Mercedes Murray, he, he had the uh, E320 and uh, he, he proudly wore a, uh, a long jeans. And this is the reality. The brutal reality is the brand is actually very strong. Long Jeans is a fantastic brand. They've got that, but they've gone for a different market. They're no longer going for the top echelon. They're not going for the Rolex Q200 
consumer, they're going for the aspiring upper middle class in Australia. And that price point is a thousand to two thousand dollars. And uh, my good friend Gregory Kinder, he said to me when this is before he was a watch person, him and his wife had his and her long jeans. And she's a professional and he's a world class musician. So there you go. They are, that's a very, 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 very upper middle class sort of purchase. Long jeans. And it's not so much I despise the brand, it's just that they use gold plating, they have a lot of quartz models, they're affordable, etc., etc. They are still a great Swiss brand, but instead of going for that upper echelon market, the Rolex market, they now go for less desirable punters. They sell a lot more. It's like if you're selling Rolls Royces, you'd sell a lot less Rolls Royces than you would sell Chevrolets. And that's kind of how it's gone now. They've gone for a different market. So Longines has had a huge fall from grace. They were really a brand. In the 1950s and 60s, they were a brand like Rolex. They were really quite prestigious. They were well-made, well-engineered, well-executed pieces. Other brands that have had falls from grace, well, I, I tell you a brand which surprises me is Zenith. See, Zenith, Zenith, they made the movement for Rolex Daytonas for a long time. And Zenith just really didn't market themselves terribly well. They're a bit of a sleeper. There's a lot of brands like that. And uh, Gerard Perrigay, they, they kind of had a more alubious period. But, uh, you know, when the nasty 70s came with quartz, a lot of these brands sold their soul to survive. So that's, that's really what the wash-up of the industry is. And you can thank the Japanese for bringing out cheap quartz watches in the 70s and 80s, which decimated the Swiss industry. And you can't feel sorry for those Swiss fuckers. I mean, it's business, fuckers. Nothing personal. Nothing personal. It's just how it is. So suck it up or fuck off. And the, uh, the Swiss themselves there, they're arrogant fuckers anyhow. So, it, it, you know, it couldn't have happened to a nicer bunch of cunts. But as far as the fall from grace, I don't think anything is as strong as long jeans. Long jeans, what they've done is a disgrace. It's an absolute cunter. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you... Miserable, nasty, cheap, vinyl fuckers. Think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great to hear you. Spruken the truth, big boy.
we specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you get in a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.